the most surprising results like my VO2 max actually went from 61.1 to 60. In this video, we're going to be looking at March on Supplements Peak Endurance to see how it affects my training and affects my VO2 test results. The Peak Endurance is a combination of six adaptogenic mushrooms. So there's cordyceps, reishi, king trumpet, shiitake, lion's mane, and turkey tail, which they've coined as their Peak O2, and then a beetroot extract alongside that. So I have tried uh, a lot of beetroot extracts and the beetroot shots in the past but I've never done anything really with the any sort of mushrooms really so it's the first time I'm going to be taking any of these. So on their website they have a list of the key benefits which they expect from this product so that it may improve oxygen utilization, it may increase peak power and endurance, it may delay fatigue and reduce blood lactate levels and it may improve time to exhaustion and it may improve your VO2 max. So the plan is I'm gonna be taking these now for 30 days from this point. I'll take you through the days, my training, and how it's, how it's affecting me, how I'm feeling taking it. Um, in the past year or so, I've done a lot of triathlon training, and I'm gonna be carrying on that over the 30 days. So this supplement should be, from the benefits as listed, should be great for that. So it should run along my training perfectly. The plan is then on the last day, on the 30th day, that I will do another VO2 um, bike test. As you may have seen in the previous video that I've done, um, I've already done a VO2 um, bike test, so I've got a good base to work off and see if we've got any improvement in terms of results. And I only did that last week, so it should be really um, close to what I am currently at. So today's gonna be the first day of taking it and training. So I've got a bike session after this, um, so the idea is that you take these about a couple of hours um, before you train. So I'm going to take it now, see how it goes, and then I'll do the session and I'll report to you to see how it feels after that. So let's get into it. So we are back from the VO2 max test. So this is now day 31. Day 30 was yesterday where we did the test. 10 seconds, come on, five seconds. Four more seconds to hang on. Push, 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 um, it felt really good to be honest um, as I said through the training um, and the month I have actually felt quite good I have supplemented nitrate in the past who like the beat it shots and I felt very similar to what I felt like doing them so in those sort of threshold sessions um, the high sort of lactate threshold and aerobic threshold sessions that I do that is probably where I see probably the most benefit um, around them and I really do see a difference with that. So what I expected from the results were that, as I said, with my training before, I did a lot of um, work around my sort of aerobic threshold. I'm working just below that, and working just below my anaerobic threshold. So what I expected to see was better VO2 results where my aerobic threshold was, and better VO2 results where my anaerobic threshold was. Um, obviously the worry I had along with it was that I wasn't really doing a lot of peak sort of VO2 max training, which, there's so obviously a lot about around the product, around it increasing your um, VO2 max. Um, that really wasn't my goal going into this training block. Um, I had a decent score in terms of what my peak VO2 was when I lasted the test. So the idea was to basically um, utilize um, my engine a bit better, so to speak. So my anaerobic threshold was quite a way off. I think it was around like 43 in terms of my VO2, which is quite a big jump then going to 61 where my peak VO2 was. So that's my expected results to see a better, better score around that aerobic threshold and a better score around my anaerobic threshold. Especially looking at the supplement, you know, the benefits around it with the ox oxygen utilization and the reduced um, blood lactate levels. I thought that was really gonna benefit um, in terms of those scores and in terms of how my training has looked. So what actually happened, um, so the results I had yesterday, there was a slight increase in that aerobic threshold it went up probably like 0.3, so it's not really significant to see um, 
to be like, yeah, it made a major difference into that into that area. My anaerobic threshold was actually worse. It was went from what do we say? So it was a 43.7 before, and then it was a 42.9. My um, VO2 was where I hit that threshold, which was actually really surprising. I did feel a lot better doing the test yesterday. Um, I actually got a better score. So with the ramp test that you do, you do it on Swift if you want to do it. It's a pretty simple test. You start at like 100 watts and you make 20 watt increments every minute. And you basically go until you can't go any longer. Um, previously, I did, I think I did like the minute where at 400 watts, I completed that minute and then stopped pretty soon into the 420. Um, when our resistance went up, I just didn't have anything left in the legs um, to keep going. This time when I went, um, I completed the minute of 420 watts. So an extra minute onto that, so I expected every result basically to be better, um, which I was quite surprised then when that threshold was down. And the most surprising results that my VO2 max actually went from 61.1 to 62. And as I said, I didn't do any specific training um, around that VO2 max. Um, obviously I know that the training that I've been doing can be beneficial to increasing your VO2 max, but I really didn't expect it. Um, you know, I am 30 years old. Um, I have trained, I am you know, relatively well trained in terms of, I've done a lot of training probably over the last like 10, 12, 13 years. Um, so to see an increase like that, especially over like 30 days, quite a short period was actually really surprising. And to me that is a significant increase where it can be like, okay, that has increased. So, you know, was that down to the supplement or was it down to the training? To me, it's probably 50-50. You're not going to get one without the other. It's a supplement at the end of the day. It's to supplement your training. Um, works sort of 50-50. It's not going to be magic and it's not going to work if you don't put the training in. And although I didn't have that specific training, I did see an increase um, around that VO2 max, which again was to me very surprising. Um, so was it worth it for like £35? that I paid for 30 days, you know, it was obviously really good for me. Um, it did see a benefit to it at the end of the day. Um, I can't take that away. So whether that was down to the training again or the supplement, you know, I think it's 50-50, but you know, I think it definitely did ha uh, help uh, in some respect. Um, and if you did enjoy a video like this, let me know in the comments below if you've got any other supplements um, that you feel I could go away and test for like 30 days. Um, I'd love to do it the where I do the VO2 uh, max test is very close to me. It's very accessible um, So I can do stuff like this um, Quite easily. So yeah, let me know in the comments below of any supplements you want me to try